Greetings. This is astrologer Pam Young Hans, and here is my forecast for the week of March 21st to 27th, 2022. We are working with two very different color palettes this week. One is made up of vibrant hues representing the energies of the dynamic Mars Uranus square that perfects on Tuesday. The second palette is composed of soft pastels courtesy of an imaginative and intuitive Mercury-Neptune conjunction, which is exact on Wednesday. The energies of the Mars-Uranus square have already been building for the past few days, as the two planets have come into range of the aspect. Symptoms related to this square include restlessness, impulsive actions, and sudden anger. Mars represents how we assert ourselves and go after our desires. Uranus brings in the elements of surprise and rebelliousness. As these two planets square off this week, people can act in ways that seem out of their normal character, or unexpected events may occur that alter a planned course of action. We may not care quite as much as usual what others want or may think of us, and the need to express our unique individuality is heightened. Any rules, restrictions, or shoulds can bring up resistance, since the need for freedom of action is especially strong. With Uranus currently in earthy Taurus, we may also see an increase in tectonic movement this week through earthquakes or volcanic activity or in other environmental or weather changes. We will continue to feel the effects of this aspect through most of the coming week. By Saturday, March 26, Mars will have moved beyond the two-degree orb of the aspect, and its influence will begin to subside. If we consider this week's aspects as a gathering of different personality types, the Mars Uranus square is the brazen extrovert in the crowd. When this energy comes through the door, everyone notices. There's no avoiding the loud voice, the fiery personality, the sudden erratic moves that set everyone else's nerves on edge. This persona doesn't have a lot of concern for how it affects others and is primarily interested in being able to move freely about and to do as it wishes. In this same scenario, if we take the time to look, we find another persona represented Sitting in the corner, quietly reading a book, seemingly unaffected by the antics in the room, is the introvert. This is Wednesday's Mercury-Neptune alignment in Pisces. When Mercury and Neptune conjoin, the inner journey becomes central to our experience. Our minds are drawn upward into non-physical realms. Instead of being motivated by the ego or other personal concerns, we are guided by the high heart, which opens in compassion to all forms of life we become more consciously aware of the truth of oneness. This alignment is very supportive energy for a meditation practice, for spiritual learning, for creative flow, for channeling, and for writing poetry and other literary forms that emerge from our stream of consciousness. The Mercury-Neptune conjunction can also help ease anxiety, as it enables our minds to transcend the limitations of a solely human view, taking us into the perspective of our soul. A cautionary note, however, this alignment may not be helpful in making concrete decisions. It is much better suited to opening to the higher self and recording what insights come forward. These intuitive knowings can then be weighed at a later date with respect to their practical application. Here are the planetary aspects we'll be working with this week, day by day. On Monday, Mars is sextile Chiron. This aspect helps us have the courage to look at underlying fears especially those that affect our self-confidence. We may end up being our own therapist or helping another heal their insecurities. Tuesday is when the Mars-Uranus square is exact. This radical influence can bring about significant shifts in our course and in our reality. It is a very unpredictable energy, so be flexible and find healthy ways to release any tension that arises. Wednesday is the day that Mercury is exactly conjunct Neptune. This aspect is best suited for daydreaming or for going on a vision quest. Idealism is heightened, but our ability to discern fact from fiction is not reliable today, and because our minds are infused with energies from the cosmos, it may interfere with our ability to communicate clearly. There are no major aspects exact on Thursday. On Friday, Mercury is semi-square Uranus. New ideas can shake up our view of reality. This requires us to be open-minded. Intuitive insights may appear out of the blue that take time to integrate. On Saturday, Mercury is sextile Pluto. Having received higher guidance and allowed time for our minds to adjust, 
This aspect helps us think more clearly, empowering us to make decisions about a new course of action. On Sunday, the sun is semi-square Saturn. Feeling controlled or limited can cause frustration or even minor depression today. Also on Sunday, Mercury enters Aries and then is immediately semi-square Mars. Our minds quicken and we are eager to take action on the new ideas that have emerged. However, proceed with caution today, as it will be easy to leap before looking. Mercury will be in Aries until April 10th, encouraging all to be more forthright in their words. If your birthday is this week, your independent actions are likely to be modified by a desire to work within the framework of important relationships or goals this year. This will require discipline, as Aries is naturally inclined to be self-motivated. You are learning the meaning of enlightened self-interest, which means you will be challenged to be true to yourself while simultaneously being aware of how your behavior affects others and how it impacts the success of your longer-term aspirations. This is astrologer Pam Young Hans wishing you insights and blessings this week. Thank you for being with me on this journey. We hope that you have enjoyed this article. For over 30 years, we at Inner Self have sought to encourage new attitudes and new possibilities. For more inspiration, visit us at InnerSelf.com. Thank you. Visit the Inner Self Market for new attitudes and new possibilities. You'll find inspiring books, wonderful music CDs, audiobooks, card decks, candles, jewelry, gifts, all kinds of wonderful things. Visit us at market.innerself.com.